Hi everyone, it's Ali back again with another card making video. This time with a really quick and easy little card with a bit of sparkle. And I'm just starting with a piece of watercolour, uh, distress watercolour cardstock. And I'm going to use the smooching technique and the inks I'm using are sponge sugar and shader lilac. I did also grab out the tumble glass ink but I didn't end up using that. So I've just smooched a bit of the sponge sugar on the acetate, sprayed it with water and now I'm pouncing that onto the Distress watercolour paper and then drying it with my heat gun just quickly. And then again I'm doing the same thing with the shaded lilac, just putting a bit of ink on, spraying it with plain old water and then just pouncing again on the, on the watercolour cardstock and then drying it with my heat tool. And at this stage it doesn't look that much, but it, I encourage you if you're trying this technique to keep going because it always ends up looking really individual and really different and, and quite pretty when you finish. So again, I've gone back in with the sponge sugar and just dabbing a bit more of that on top of the other colour and drying it with my heat tool. So once I was happy with that, then I'm going to stamp my sentiments. And I'm just making sure it's dry there and going over with my powder tool to take off any moisture or any fingerprint marks where the embossing powder might stick where I don't want it to. And I'm using a W plus 9 set, Sparkle and Shine. And I'm just going to do the You Leave a Little and Wherever You Go. I've actually cut up that little stamp set and I've cut the sparkle out of it because I do have the die cuts for this set as well and I wanted to die cut the sparkle out of some shimmer silver shimmer paper which I've got there so I'm just going to run that through my big shot and die cut that out and then I'm going to have that as a die cut in the middle of the other two stamps and then I'm just going to line them up so that I'm happy with where they are all positioned and then using my misty, just making sure my words are as level as can be. And then I've actually stamped it in white ink, Hero Arts ink. And I did decide after that that the white didn't quite stand out enough. So I've re-stamped it in white and I'm going to emboss it in silver embossing powder this time. And I don't have a container for my silver embossing powder, so I just use a folded piece of white paper and catch the, the runoff onto that paper and then tip it back into the tub. I'm just setting that embossing powder with my heat tool and then just fold it together and tip it back into the container which works fine for embossing powders that you don't use very often. Now I'm happy with that. I'm just going to poke out the little pieces of my die cut with my Spellbinders tool in one which is quite handy, but you can poke it out with anything sharp, really. And then I'm going to stick that on with my multimedia matte glue and the precision tip, which was an extra thing that I bought to put on the matte glue. But I do use it quite a bit, so it's quite a handy little, little thing to have. So I'm just popping the glue on the back of that die cut. It really is quite handy for these delicate words, the delicate die cut words. Popping that on there, pressing it down. Now I'm going to get my card front, I'm just sizing up that piece and I did want a little white border around the edge so I'm just going to cut that piece down off screen with my cutter. And I did want a bit more sparkle on that piece so I got out um, a box that I use and my shimmer spritz spray and I've just given that five about five blasts of the shimmer spritz and it makes it really sparkle you can't really see it that well on um, the video but you can just see it there shining a little bit and it is really sparkly in real life and now I'm going to just secure that onto the front of my card with some double-sided tape quite a bit on there because it's watercolor paper and it was a little bit bowed so I'm just making sure that it's really stuck down well and now I've got some little sequins that I've just purchased they're pretty pink posh sequins and tiny little sequins but they're very sparkly I think they're the clear clear sequins and I'm just again using my multimedia matte glue putting down little dots of glue and then 
pop in the sequin on top just to give it even more sparkle. And that's the card. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really quick and easy way if you've got some distress inks and some sentiment stamps. Um, it's a nice way to make a really quick and easy card. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for visiting my channel and I'll see you again next time.